Today we're going to do turkey vegetable with barley soup. It's for our friend next door. Joe passed away yesterday and a real good friend of ours. And we're going to bring something over to the house. And here we go. Start off with the uh, olive oil. Come in a little closer if you want, so you can get a close up loose. These peelers are real handy compared to all conventional peelers. Pretty fast with these. <laughs> What are you doing with that peeling technique? What do you mean? Do you just peel half and then? Yeah, half and spin it around. If you get a little close up, here's how we cut the carrots. For dice. It's zoomed. Yeah. Cut it, leave, leave the stem on. And cut right down from the stem. Throw the stem away. Same with the other one. Make a quick dice without cutting it into four pieces. A little bit of a leftover onion. We'll start with that. See, I like to grab a plate, just bring it right onto the plate. Pass me a wooden spoon, Lucy, please. Onions, make a little bit off the end, very little. Same off the other end. Take the first layer of uh, peel off, skin off. Got a close up of this? See, we cut, cut three or four slices off each half. Don't go all the way through to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then the same here. You leave it attached on this end. Just five or six slits down. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> Any tricks to stop the tears? Breathe through your mouth. Alright. Yeah. Or, they say you can put a piece of bread in your mouth, it'll absorb. Or a toothpick. Really? For all three. <laughs> but I think the best is to have a good ventilation. Mm. Okay, then we have leeks. Okay. Important to wash the leek real well. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how I like to do these. Cut the end off. Cut them in half. And all the leaves, the outer leaves look good if they look discolored or rotten. Peel those outer leaves off. The ribs, try to get all, all the dirt out. The right way is to dice them and soak them in cold water. Mm -hmm. That way there, they'd uh, all the dirt would settle to the bottom. 
but you can do them pretty efficiently this way. Cut them in half. I can do that. Slits down. You leave the leaves on? Yeah, leaves are where a lot of flavor comes out of leaves. Oh, wow. Excellent. Especially for soup. Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor. And the root, right before the bottom of the celery, and the top, the leaves. Okay. How important is it to have really sharp knives? Very important. One of these hand sharpeners, yep. everybody should have one at home. Run the knife. And what I'm, I'm careful to do is, it's got metal shavings on it. When you use this, rinse it off. Okay, the mushrooms, we'll wash them off. Again. Wow, they're really fast. How are you doing the amounts for each? The amounts? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just have an idea of how much vegetable you want in there. More, no, no set amount. Look for the amount of soup. You want a fair amount of celery, carrots, and onions. Try more onions. How long will this amount last you, like, duration-wise? As far as what? Like... How many portions? Yeah, and how many people and stuff? You'll probably feed... Maybe 20 people. Mm. Really? It's great. I've already learned a couple new tricks. Really? Yeah. Excellent. Um, cutting tricks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of those before? Uh, the carrot one looked really useful. I've never seen that one before. How about the celery one? Celery's good. Celery's good. Mm -hmm. How long have you been cooking? Um, ever since I was a twinkle in my father's eye. Wow. Yeah. I like the season at this point right here. The vegetables. All uh, they're cooking. With garlic powder. Granulated garlic. Okay. Black pepper. How much? Oh, you just kind of guess on the seasoning? I kind of season the top layer, mm -hmm. however big the pot is, and then later on we'll adjust it. Kosher salt. But I like to use iodized salt. Good. Add the turkey in now. Mm -hmm. this, this turkey is pre-cooked? Yeah, I roasted it the other day. Throw the scraps for the hound, Frank. <laughs> and Fritz. <Frits. laughs> what I like now, a little bit of curry powder. Curry powder, huh? Yeah, a little bit. How high is the heat on that? It's on high. Okay. We'll go to curry powder. Do you have any liquid in there with it? Or? Not yet. Oh, okay. Now I have the turkey stock from the other day. We took the carcass after we roasted the turkey. Mm -hmm. We'll pour that over the top. Take a look 
got it here, Luke. So it's pretty thick with vegetables and meat. Yep. And then right now we'll add in the barley. Okay. Cook the barley right into the. Uh, we'll just cut a corner off the barley. Oh, wow. So that's probably half a bag. Mm -hmm. How was your walk? It was great, thanks. How's it smelling? It smells pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think, Marna? Here, uh, I've added a little bit of water for the when it evaporates, we'll add a little bit extra water. It's okay. a little too thick. Okay. Bring it to a boil. We'll turn it down to simmer. Yep. Cover it. Let it boil till the barley's cooked. Right. You ready to go? Ready. Come on, we'll look over the top of it when I lift that lid. Time for the unveiling. Woo, baby. Uh, see the barley's cooked? Yeah. Rachel! Yeah. You want to be just a quick sampler, a taster? Oh, would I ever? The official? The official. Hold on. We get out. <laughs> this man knows his soup. <laughs> Your favorite Harley Mark? Thank you. Okay. Marty, you want to try something? All set, kids. That's it. And Joe, may you rest in peace. Amen. Good friend, Joe. We always remember 